Authorities are still trying to find out the cause of a Tesla battery fire in central Queensland. The blaze broke out at the $60 million storage site last night. A lithium Tesla battery unit ablaze, burning at a brand new facility near Rockhampton. Well, there was uh, quite a bit of smoke, but because of the electricity uh, involved, uh, they adopted a defensive approach to that incident. Meaning the fire couldn't be extinguished. Fire crews initially weren't able to get inside and had to cut the fence. Mechanic Dave Bailey was driving past when he spotted the flames, concerned about toxic smoke. The fire was pretty intense. Um, and the, the bangs that you'd hear every now and then. And believe it or not, the flames were all different colours, but yeah, a fair bit of smoke and, and obviously heat would have been coming off it. A close neighbour learnt about the fire via social media this morning. We were having breakfast in the awning there this morning. Uh, it was like a plastic smell, that a uh, bit drifting around. We have done um, gas monitoring and air, air sampling in and around Baldacombe, so uh, there is no worries for members of the public in terms of that toxic gas issue. No one was on site at the time of the incident. Gen X Power, which owns the project, says it will work with Tesla to investigate the cause of the fire. The 40 battery facility has been disconnected from the grid and there's no damage to the substation next door. Experts say this type of fire is rare, but it's an evolving area. I think what we'll have is initially we get more and more lithium-ion batteries coming online. We will get more um, of these incidents occurring, but we'll get more regulation in place and so then over time they will hopefully decrease. The fire was contained to a single battery by this morning. Katrina Bevan, ABC News, Baldercombe, Central Queensland.